don't do this when you are skiing. There is a popular tip out there that is killing your skiing. I'm gonna fix that today. My name is Tom from TDK Ski Racing and I'm committed to making you a better skier. Today's popular tip we absolutely have to stop following is having an imaginary steering wheel to help us turn when we are wedging. Turning the steering wheel in the direction we want to turn. It's causing all sorts of problems like banking, inside ski pressure, skidding, etc. etc. We absolutely have to stop doing this. So, without further ado, let's go to the lesson. The problem is that as we are holding an imaginary steering wheel to help us turn when we are wedging, we are at the same time turning our body like this. So turning right will make our whole body turn into the turn. The same to the other side. So when we are turning left, our whole body follows to the left. Instead we should be doing the opposite. As we are turning right, we should lean to the left. And as we are turning left, we should lean to the right. The reason is, on a car we have a steering wheel, which we turn in order to turn the car. When we are wedging, instead we have our skis that we pressure, they are edged causing friction on the snow. That's the reason we are turning. So, as we, if we go straight down in the fall line with the skis equally, uh, equally edged and with, uh, with our center of mass in the middle of the skis, both skis should have the same amount of pressure. Then we should be going straight in the fall line. Now, without altering that this is important, without altering the, uh, the edge angle of the outside ski, the, the, or let's say both skis in this case still, we, as we lean to the left, the left ski will get more pressure than the right ski and therefore we will be turning to the, to the left. And same goes for the right, turning right, equal, equal pressure on both skis we lean to the, to the left, causing a right-hand turn. So what happens if we use the steering wheel and we are turning like this? Then we are not putting pressure on our uh, left ski. Instead, we are shifting pressure on our right ski. And to compensate for this, uh, we are muscling the turn around ourselves around the turn. This is all really bad uh, technique. The, 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 the most easy fix is the most simple one. Lean left when you turn right and you lean right when you turn left. Some instructors and coaches will say that this, this movement to the outside they call it an active weight shift, that that is a negative thing because as we turn left, we want everything to go left. Uh, and if we want to turn right, we, make, we have to make everything go right. So this would be a counter movement going here to go there. That's a bad thing. Well, it's not. It's just the way of steering ourselves through a uh, turn. And as you get better, and you venture, venture into parallel skiing and later on carving, then this move is the most important of them all, that you actually lean towards the outside in a turn. Keep your hips into the turn and uh, weight on the outside ski 
uh, it's called angulation, leaning towards the outside from the hips. Um, there, another movement is counter uh, a rotation of the upper body, and uh, all these, uh, these, both these things are important. You need to, to angulate in the turn, and you need also to, at some point, do some countering. We will, but that is a, a, a upper level uh, issue. But it just goes to show that this movement that you, we are teaching kids ski for the first time, they will serve the student all the way to the World Cup podium. Thank you for watching this video and uh, hopefully this will work out for you and your students and um, please drop a comment in the commentary section of this video. Press the like button if you think this video was worth watching. Remember to subscribe and see you out on the slopes.